Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 31st of October, so happy Halloween. And the time has just gone 12.05 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is Renault, the French car maker. And it's been a bit of a scary time, pardon the pun, for Renault shareholders um, recently. Uh, the stock has dr dropped to its lowest level uh, since, since early 2013 today. Uh, and basically there's a few reasons why share price of Renault has been on decline. Um, first of all, the, the kind of global demand for cars is in decline, particularly in countries like China. Kind of the combination of a global economic slowdown, uh, certainly in relation to Brexit, the US-China trade spat, and the fact that China itself is, uh, is slowing down. These have all kind of contributed to kind of a decline in global car sales. Uh, simultaneously, there's also been a rise uh, in the demand for electric car sales, electric vehicles. And Tesla finally kind of, even though they've had some turbulence in the last year or so, they seem to be kind of more so getting their acts together in terms of production. So they're doing well. Uh, not too long ago, uh, there was an attempt uh, for a tie-up uh, between Fiat Chrysler and Renault, uh, but that that potential deal was blocked by the French government, uh, who were a stakeholder in the French company. Uh, they were concerned about where would jobs would, would jobs still be uh, located in France post merger. And uh, in the past 48 hours, there's been a lot of news in, in the car sector. Um, yesterday, we heard about a possible tie-up between Fiat Chrysler and Peugeot, and that's actually been confirmed today that, that both sides are looking at going ahead. So it looks like we're going to have a new major car group, um, Fiat Chrysler and Peugeot, and that uh, is then going to effectively create a much larger organization. There's, there will be synergies likely to evolve from that. Uh, which would obviously put, which would obviously be good for Fiat, Fiat Chrysler and Peugeot, but put additional pressure on Renault. So hence why we're seeing uh, additional pressure being applied to the share price of the French stock today. Um, as I, as I said, it, it's uh, today's today's session has seen a drop to a level last seen uh, in early 2013. So it gives indication of how bearish sentiment is on that particular stock. Uh, particularly from a charting point of view, it's been in, in very much a downward trend. For quite some time, and if you do manage to get a break below this area here in a 44 uh, spot 83, uh, a level that was last seen, a level that was last seen uh, in April 2013. If you break below that, the next area to keep an eye out for will be the kind of big psychological number of 40 euros per share. Uh, it is also worth pointing out, if you take a look on the uh, the chart, that at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram. As the share price is pushing lower, we're seeing a steady increase in negative momentum. So as the market is driving lower, uh, we are seeing that being, that being confirmed by a steady increase in negative momentum. So the momentum is clearly to the downside. Uh, if we do see a bit of a snapback, uh, we could find some support potentially uh, come from this area here, up around the 200 moving average, the red line, which comes into play at 55 spot 39. Uh, you will notice that... This red line here, the market ran into resistance at this this um, at the 20 moving average in early October, and you can so if the metric has been important in the past, it makes it more likely it will be important in the future. Obviously, there are no guarantees. There's a good example of here of how the stock managed to trade above its 20 moving average comfortably above it, and close above it in the middle of September, but the market alas traded lower and has actually gone on to pre press uh, lower lows. Uh, it's only really if you manage to take out the mid-September mid high in a 58 spot 11, could then we begin to think, you know what, maybe the kind of wider downward trend has, um, has, 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 um, has been shaken off. And if you go beyond that level, the next year to keep an eye for would be the kind of psychologically important 60, uh, 60 uh, euros per share mark. And if you go beyond that, we could be looking at heading up towards the April highs of in around um, 64 spot 19. Uh, that's all for me this week. Thank you for tuning in and please tune in next week. Thank you very much.